day two. <coughs> this like month or like week is really not going how I planned because I've been sick for like a week and not just like a cold. I'm like dying. <laughs> not to be over dramatic, but I've tested negative for COVID twice. So I'm almost positive it's not COVID, but like I know you can get like negative even when you're positive. So yeah, I'm just dying and I had so many plans, but you're gonna have to join me for this today because this is the reality. So I called in sick to school. That's all I had today. So um, just join me for this. <laughs> Luckily, my sister is sick too. So we're gonna go watch Harry Potter downstairs <laughs> but I'm gonna go brush my teeth because they feel disgusting so It really hurts to talk, so I am whispering, I'm sorry, but it's like two o'clock and all I've done is sleep and watch Harry Potter and eat, of course, but it's been like honestly a week tomorrow since the first day I felt sick and it's so annoying because I have all these things I need to be doing and if you're a university student, you know beginning of December is like the busiest time as a student and my body is just disintegrating so yeah enough complaining though because i know that's probably really annoying to watch but also you'd think with my body fighting off a cold it wouldn't have time to produce acne but <laughs> if one thing's consistent it's my acne so anyway yeah i've just been sick for like a week and i was like oh i don't want to make like a sick day video like that's kind of boring and gross and then it's been like a week and i'm like hmm think i'm gonna have to but yeah i'm gonna take another covid test today because i have to take my grandma to the doctor's tomorrow and I want to make sure I don't have COVID because if I do I'm gonna ask my dad to do it so yeah but for now I think I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos just kind of relax I don't know the worst thing about this like I haven't been sick since 2019 like before the pandemic and everything like wearing a mask really helps like you just don't get sick as easily but something about this year it just hit me hard I did travel so I think that's probably my doing and apparently the flu is supposed to be really bad this year so I did get my flu shot though so <coughs> But anyway, I haven't been sick in like three years, so I don't know if this is like worse than normal or if I'm just not used to dealing with this, you know what I mean? But I'm just so exhausted. I have no energy to do anything and I hate feeling lazy and like lazy. I just hate feeling lazy, so. But it is kind of nice to have like a little brain break and just kind of relax because I don't really let myself do that all that often. But it's kind of weird because I always like, you know when you're like not supposed to be laying in bed or like relaxing, you're procrastinating and there's so many things to watch, so many movies you want to see, so many TV shows, and so many books you want to read. But then when you're sick and you have to spend like four days in bed, there's nothing to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I've experienced boredom. My For You page is literally so bad on TikTok because I spent so much time on it and it doesn't even know what to suggest for me anymore. And like, I kind of hate TikTok because I'm not like other girls. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not saying that in like a I'm not like other girls way. I just TikTok really does. There's just so many things on there and you see it so fast. It's crazy like to keep track and then you just feel like you've lived a thousand lives by the time you're off the app and you don't even remember like any of the videos that you watched. So you're like going crazy and I just like I had a shower this morning and didn't wash my hair. I just got it wet and it feels so weird which I don't know why because I washed it like two days ago. But anyway, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I'll catch you later.
Hello, um, this vlog is very short, I'm aware, I'm sorry, but I decided I'm gonna do like a song of the day in each vlog because I kind of talked about my favorite songs right now in my first one and I've just been listening to so much new music lately that I thought I would just do a little song of the day clip, so I'm sorry this one's a weird like extra clip, but the rest are within the vlog, you know, for the rest of December, so. Anyway, today my favorite song, song of the day, is Possibly Maybe by Bjork. I I'm not a huge Bjork person or I, I just never really listened to her before but this song changed me It's so good and I can't wait to listen to some of her other stuff because I know it's gonna be good So because I already love this one and it's not even one of her popular songs on the you know Like the top five on Spotify or whatever. It's not even on there So I know there's some hidden gems and I'm really excited because a lot of people really praise Bjork for her like Artisticness and not selling out. I don't know how to explain it, but possibly maybe so good it's a little like different than what I usually use it, listen to, but it's so good. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey, it's been so long. Um, after that last clip you saw of me just relaxing in bed, I fell asleep for hours. I still feel like ass. I just had dinner. Um, I ate a lot of vegetables because that always makes me feel better when I'm sick, even though I can't really like taste. Like I can taste, but everything just kind of tastes like gross and the same. But I'm gonna take a COVID test again, just to be sure. And I thought I'd show myself doing it because if you're sick, test yourself. COVID's not gone and it's just important to know if you have it or not so you don't spread it to anyone else. Obviously, I know I don't need to like share this information, but I've seen a lot of people on TikTok saying they don't even like think COVID's real anymore. So just thought I'd share whenever I'm sick, I test, so. But anyway, it's really easy to do a COVID test and like very painless, like you don't feel anything. You just basically, you have like the solution and it basically feels like I'm in a science lab. Like I'm a STEM major, so I've been in a lab before, but this is fun and you don't have to write a lab report or get graded on it. So it's like so much fun. <laughs> Makes me want to get my lab coat out and just you know but I just want to read these like I literally have done these so many times because my dad had COVID this year and my brother had it twice and I've had a test every single time to make sure I don't have it too and like I've taken these tests just so many times and yet I'll still read the instructions every time because I'm worried I'll do it wrong and I think I'm gonna have a bath tonight I have this like eucalyptus bubble bath that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond and it smells so good so but I'm like I kind of have like a fever and I'm sweating and shivering so I don't know if I want to be surrounded by hot water anyway here's the worst part <laughs> I keep getting so many spam text messages from like, like multiple a day. It's kind of crazy. I don't know who leaked my phone number, but someone did. Um, but yeah. Now we get the little test thing. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but I'm literally not doing anything else today. And you guys can watch this part. And then I just put all the garbage. I mean, you don't care. You don't need to know. And then we set a timer for 15 minutes. And now we wait. Bad news, soldiers. I tested positive. Luckily, I haven't been anywhere, but I literally tested negative twice since I've been sick. This is like day six of being sick and I tested positive. Like, that's crazy. And this is my first time getting it too. It's 2022. Well, I'm gonna go contemplate life, so bye.